<clears throat> We're rolling now. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you want some? Uh, no, thanks. Whenever you want to start. Uh, well, we uh, wanted to go on a nice vacation. Uh, we talked about it quite a bit. Uh, I started looking around online, and this seemed like exactly what we, you know, kind of planned or dreamed about. Uh, honey, um, can you elaborate more? Two words. Brutal. Well, that's actually one word, two syllables. Here's two words. Absolute nightmare. Here we are, everyone, on our dream vacation. Don't have to show everyone everything we do, honey. We confirmed the address over and over again using different apps. And I contacted the rental company further to see if they had any more details. Um, of course, they didn't have much. Uh, the number that I was given didn't reach anybody. All they could say it was just listed by someone named Charlie. Hey. Oh, how's it going? We were finally getting settled in for the night. Todd had set up his phone on the dashboard to film the outdoors. Todd, Todd, wake what? up. We didn't appreciate that he approached our car with an axe. I mean, is that how you greet people, standing there like the brawny man? Maybe a gluten-free version, but standing there with a big axe? Mr. Walker? Did you know there was a black bear? Right behind me, right over there. It's like two weeks ago. It was as though he were raised on a Christmas tree farm by Christmas trees. You said your friend was renting vacation properties? Yeah, a couple of buddies on mine made a lot of quick, easy money on Airbnb, and one of them had made enough to take five months off to through hike the Appalachian Trail. Now that is an experience, my friend. How cheap? $14 a night, parking included. You didn't think maybe that was a little too good to be true? Well, it's, maybe that's just the going rate right around there, off season. We got lucky. Okay, listed here. Rustic, cozy cabin tucked in the woods away from the stresses of everyday life. Yeah, he nailed the rustic part, that's for sure. One bedroom cabin with a small kitchen, twin beds, and central heating. Yeah, the so-called kitchen. So, uh, yeah, we got some wood, uh, stove, water, utensils, pretty much the essentials. Yeah, they were frustrated that you had listed it as a kitchen and didn't specify it was just a camp stove and a gallon of water. I mean, the way I grew up, uh, stove's a stove. It works like any other one. The propane comes in and light it. I mean, and as far as the water goes, it's filtered water. I mean, I'm not making people find a river. That being said, there's a spring about two-tenths of a mile that way that I kid you not, could put Poland Springs out of business. I just don't have the investors. There were no beds. We already figured we could deal with the twin beds for a few nights, and that would be compromise enough. But honestly, I don't quite understand some of their complaints, you know? I think it was because you had listed the rental as having two twin beds. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's one there, and there's another one right here. And not too bad, to be completely honest. Oh, I mean, I know I'm a little biased, but... You gonna tell me these aren't two twin beds? They look pretty identical to me. Oh, and then there was the central heating. It's okay, I know it hurts, I know it hurts. Okay, isn't that a little dangerous? Oh, this? Uh, my neighbor made this. Uh, just, you know, nice for the ambiance. And uh, I even got this if you need to go to the outhouse. You know, this umbrella, it's, it's, it's a really oversized umbrella. So, you know, not trying to be a jerk here. But uh, I gotta get some air. 
Was there anything positive about your experience there? I mean, as far as criticism goes, I'm open to feedback, trying to spruce up the place. I'm pretty handy. I figured, how hard can it be? 